how do you know if you have too much yin or too much yang? If you've been watching my channel, you know I love the theory and I love the philosophy and I just love the ageless depth that comes with Chinese medicine. So in this episode, we're going to look at how yin and yang can relate to your health and what it can look like if you have too much yin or too much yang. What are some of the ways yin and yang relate to your health? And what does it look like when you're too yin or you're too yang? Well, yin and yang is movement. And for you and me, that's important because the only way there's going to be life is with movement. So when you see the Tai Chi symbol, you see that it's always black and white. And you might wonder if there's another color that could represent the Tai Chi symbol. And there isn't because black is the absence of color and white is the presence of all colors. And these two colors represent that absolute opposite which is exactly what yin and yang are. And my episode, The Power of Yin and Yang, Part 1, The Creation of Life, goes into more depth on why it needs to be the absolute opposites in the Tai Chi symbol and how that creates life. And the Tai Chi symbol represents the change from one polar opposite to the other in life. Your health is reflected in the Tai Chi symbol. And as your health moves between yin and yang, the body works to keep some type of balance so that the two opposites don't separate. And I have a blog out on my website at best-acupuncture.com that is Taoist thoughts on if the Big Bang Theory is wrong. And it talks about yin and yang's movement. So if you want to check that out, there's going to be a link in the video description below. You can see the differences of yin and yang in every aspect of your life, from your emotions to your mental health to your physical body. And one way that you can define yin and yang is through movement of expansion and its polar opposite, contraction. So yin is more expanding and yang is more contracting. So the emotional polar opposites are going to be love and hate. And love is going to be more yin because you're really flexible when you love somebody. You can forgive a lot of faults when you love somebody. And you know, you change your schedule to accommodate them when you love them. And you're willing to give up things for them. So you're just really flexible when you love somebody. And then you have hate. And hate's the exact opposite of love. You find fault in everything that they're doing. In fact, you will go out of your way to plan their demise. You'll go out of your way to find fault and blame in everything they do. And you can't hear the other side of the story and it doesn't matter because you weren't gonna listen anyways. Hate is like a closed door in front of a mountain. Between these two are shades of gray. And you know, life happens in shades of gray, but things can happen that can have a dramatic swing on your emotions. And just the other day, I was on the freeway. I was on a four lane freeway and I was boxed into the third lane. There was just so much traffic and we were going 70 miles an hour and suddenly, the little pickup in front of me was at a dead stop without brake lights. Have you ever been in that situation? I mean, that amazing jolt of fear. Okay, I, I was able to brake in time. Oh, but that amazing jolt of fear, you know, as long as these dramatic changes in your emotions happen intermittently, your body can handle it and you're gonna remain healthy. It's when these changes, when these dramatic emotions happen repeatedly that your body can lose the ability to cope and your emotions can become unbalanced. So how does this show up? What would be an unhealthy expression of yin? Well, here's one that we hear about a lot, codependent. Correct. And 
codependence is a lack of appropriate boundaries, so you're incredibly flexible to the point that it causes harm to yourself. That is correct. And then on the other side of that would be the expression of yang, where you know, you're know you fed up, you feel like you've been accommodating them enough, and now you're feeling like you're being taken advantage of, and you suddenly have an explosion of anger. And that would be an unhealthy expression of yang. High score! And here's the neat part. Just like the Tai Chi symbol, the whole process starts all over again. And it's not that anger is bad, it's just that in this situation, because you waited so long, instead of being able to handle it effectively, the anger caused more damage in your relationship. So what are some of the ways to see yin and yang in the physical body? From birth to adulthood, you're growing and expanding. And when you reach the furthest most point of yin, the cycle starts to contract and you start the aging cycle. So in aging, you shrink, your bones get stiffer and you lack flexibility. Your thoughts become more rigid. When your mind and body is to yin, what are some of the things you can do to bring more yang into your body? Well, physical exercise can bring more yang into the body. And when you think about it, weight gain is usually a yin expression, which Spicy Meat Doodles knows all about. And exercise can help reduce weight. And exercise can also help eliminate depression. And depression can be a yin expression in the body. Right, Doodles? I know. So when your mind and body are becoming too young for you, turn towards your body again. Stretching movement is a great way to bring more yin back into your body. In my next episode, I am gonna go over some really simple movements and stretches that you can do first thing in the morning to help keep your body and your spine limber. And you know what, I also have a book on my website at best-acupuncture.com. I have a link under my favorite books to the book, The Eye of Revelation, which is the ancient Tibetan rituals of rejuvenation. So if you wanna to link to that book, if you wanna get that book, you can find that link in the video description below or go out to my website at best-acupuncture.com and go under my favorite books and you're gonna find not just that book, but you'll find links to a whole lot of other books that I find really useful. Hey, there is something else you can do. Meditation. Meditation, it's great to keep your mind flexible and expanding. So in the playlist, Meditation, Nature, and the Esoteric Side of Chinese Medicine, there's episodes on meditation and techniques from ancient Tibet, ancient China that can help you improve your meditation. So if you're on your computer, you're gonna see a link in your upper right-hand corner. And if you click on it, it'll take you to that playlist. And otherwise, there's gonna be a link in the video description below. Now there's one episode in that playlist that goes over this ancient classical wisdom of the physical body. And you know, there's that concept that the physical body is actually here to help you go as far as you want to go with your enlightenment. And that's a totally different way of looking at the physical body. But that episode is three steps to improve your meditation, part one, breath. Hot and cold are two other polar opposites and hot is yang and cold is yin. And by itself, it doesn't really mean much, but when you start wrapping context around it, you can start to see some of the adjustments you can make in your life. So in general, yin, it's colder and it's represented by water. So a healthy expression of yin is the oceans and you know how they cool the earth and your body's ability to cool itself can be a healthy expression of yin but an unhealthy expression of yin can be difficulty in cooling off. And I have an episode out here, Min Max Cooling the Body, What to Do When Your Body Can't Cool Off, which gives you some great thoughts on why you might be having problems cooling off and how you can fix it. 
when you're running colder, wearing warmer clothing is going to be critical, but you can also eat foods that are going to help warm you up. So foods like cinnamon, ginger, and lamb, those are all hot foods. And foods like apples and pears are warm, so put cinnamon on your apple or pear to help warm yourself up. You know, Young's hotter and it's usually going to be represented by the sun so a healthy expression of yang is the summer growing season when crops are able to reach maturity and an unhealthy expression of yang is going to be like a drought and here the weather is going to be too warm and there's just not enough water to keep anything alive so inflammation in the body it can be like a drought especially things like heartburn and acid reflux, when it feels like your stomach is on fire with really little moisture. And this sharp burning pain can be felt in the stomach, in the throat, on the sides of the abdomen, below the ribs, from the front to the back, and almost anywhere in the abdomen and, and back area. And it can have many different reasons for happening in the body. So there's a lot of information on the channel about digestion and how to improve your digestion. It's, it's probably one of the more difficult things to try and correct. So if this is part of your concerns, you might want to watch the episode, How Love Can Stop You From Changing and Anything That Has To Do With Food May Need A Lot Of Patience. And that's something that not everyone is good at. But you know what? There might be some information in that episode that can help you understand why changing your eating habits is difficult. And you know, just understanding yourself is going to be complicated. There's just so much going on in each and every one of us. And food's like the largest contributor to disease. And it's like the most complicated to change. It just is such a basic part of being human. So there you have some things on yin and yang in your health. You got to see some ways that you can identify if your body has more yin or yang and some things you can do to change that to rebalance your yin and yang. And you also got to see why the Tai Chi symbol has to be painted in white and black. You know, yin and yang is amazing. The depths of it are like this bottomless ocean. So if there's something in particular about yin and yang that you want to talk about, put it in the comments below. And I'll share with you what I know from the ancient wisdom of classical Chinese medicine. Okay, thanks for coming out and until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.